Deadpool 2 is finally here, and with it comes more easter eggs and an industrial hatchery. It's no surprise that Wade Wilson would keep the pop culture references coming fast and furious, but Deadpool 2 also came with a pretty wide assortment of secrets that you'd have to dig pretty far into your comic archives to find. Gird your loins and prepare yourself for spoilers like a stolen prison pen, we're going deep. X Stuff Deadpool's connection to the X-Men movie universe isn't a secret, it's just a thing that the serious X-Men films don't really acknowledge. Deadpool himself is the world's biggest critic of Ryan Reynolds' performance in X-Men Origins Wolverine, which he makes explicitly obvious during the movie's mid-credits scene by pumping a dozen bullets into the other, original Deadpool. Deadpool 2 does everything it can to try to weasel itself into the core X-Men movie world, Deadpool wears Professor Xavier's Cerebro helmet and says that it smells like the original X-Trilogy's Professor Patrick Stewart. He also zips around the X-Mansion in the Professor's iconic wheelchair, and most notably, Deadpool briefly stands in front of a room filled with actual real-life X-Men, including new Professor X, James McAvoy. It's the stuff X-Fan dreams are made of. Essex Stuff even though longtime X-Men foe Mr. Sinister, aka Nathaniel Essex, hasn't actually appeared on the big screen yet, his presence in the X-Movie universe looms large. So far, he's only appeared in name. By the end of X-Men Apocalypse, his name is seen on a briefcase and is connected to the Weapon X facility that created Wolverine. Logan's Transigen Corporation, which created Laura, aka X-23, has been confirmed to be related to Essex Corp as well. In Deadpool 2, Essex is the name of the school that tortures young mutants, including Russell out of using their natural powers. The Bizarro X Mansion seems to be pretty anti mutant, so while their ideals don't really align with the overall Essex ethos of mutant experimentation, the name remains a common thread throughout all arms of the X Universe. Goonies Never Say Die before he was Thanos, or Cable, or anything else for that matter, Josh Brolin first appeared on the big screen as Brand Walsh in The Goonies, a fact that Deadpool will not let him forget. Deadpool mockingly calling him One-Eyed Willy isn't just a dig at his one peeper. One-Eyed Willy was the pirate that The Goonies were searching for in their own iconic film. Want to double down on the goon love? After Deadpool is torn in two by Juggernaut and is recovering on the couch, he's wearing the exact same shirt that Chunk did in The Goonies. It's all done out of love, of course. Ryan Reynolds and Josh Brolin have a wreck kinship. Both starred in absolutely terrible DC movie flops, Green Lantern and Jonah Hex, respectively. Callback Attack Deadpool 2's many commercials revealed a whole family-sized omelette's worth of easter eggs, but a few super clever ones were hidden in plain sight. When an exhausted Deadpool attempts to take out a barrage of bullets with nothing but his swords, that's actually a callback to when he did the exact same thing with much more unbelievable success in X-Men Origins Wolverine. And yes, Deadpool finding a whole lot of cocaine and the cure for blindness stashed under some floorboards in Al's apartment is an unexpected callback to the first Deadpool film. It's about 116 kilos of cocaine buried somewhere in the apartment, right next to the cure for blindness. Good luck. He wasn't kidding. Cameo City Notably absent from Deadpool 2's many crazy cameos was Marvel patriarch Stan Lee, who only appeared as a mural on the side of a building, and Deadpool 2's teaser trailer. Wow, nice suit! Zip it, Stan Lee! One might have also expected Deadpool co-creator Rob Liefeld to appear again after showing up in the first film, but he's nowhere to be seen. Buck Liefeld. Instead, he's called out in a much more creative way, as the creator of Domino, who Deadpool proclaims to have a very stupid set of powers, and was probably created by a guy who can't draw feet. Comic art historians will note that Mr. Liefeld's grasp of the human anatomy is creative at its best, hilarious at its worst, and more often than not, includes large clouds of smoke usually focused somewhere below each character's knees. We have a minute and oh, a half, so I want to tighten those feet. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Noted Deadpool writer Jerry Duggan also gets a shout-out. The parkway on which part of the epic convoy battle sequence takes place is named after him. And yes, your eyes were not deceiving you. That indeed was Brad Pitt, playing the ill-fated Vanisher. At one point scheduled to play Cable himself, Pitt's cameo appearance and immediate death were added in post-production, but are nonetheless pretty unexpected. Also unexpected is the surprise appearance of Alan Tudyk, a toilet paper obsessed good old boy, appearing alongside Matt Damon, buried under so many prosthetics that he's unrecognizable. This, of course, is his second Marvel cameo over the past year. x -Fast. The sudden gory departure of almost the entirety of the newly formed X-Force is something of a surprise, but it really shouldn't be. 
Pretty much the exact same thing happens in X-Force issue 116 when a newly formed group of mutants calling themselves X-Force are immediately explosively dispatched during their very first appearance. Among them is Zeitgeist, the same tattooed, acid-puking mutant that's welcomed into Deadpool's X-Force. That tattoo of 116 on his arm wasn't just an interstate, it's the issue where he died. And we can't mention highly specific numerical references without Deadpool's prisoner number 24601. Now prisoner 24601! Most significantly, it's the number of Jean Valjean in Les Miserables, a role played by Hugh Jackman on the big screen. Bad taste. Deadpool co-star TJ Miller has been embroiled in multiple controversies since December of 2016, including but not limited to calling in a fake bomb threat on a train, assaulting an Uber driver during a political argument, and allegedly committing violence and sexual assault against a woman in 2001. When the latter accusation surfaced after Miller's prominent role in Deadpool 2 was already in production, the film's producers made the difficult and controversial decision to keep the Emoji Movie star in the picture, but axe him from Deadpool 3. Still, the film couldn't resist taking a jab at the situation. During the news report about Fire Fist's explosive meltdown, the crawl at the bottom of the screen mentions that Christopher Plummer had turned down a role in Deadpool 2. Famously, Plummer reshot all of Kevin Spacey's scenes and all the money in the world after Kevin Spacey was accused of sexual misconduct. It's not like anything in Deadpool 2 was in good taste anyhow. No! Good taste. It's hard to tell exactly where Deadpool ends and Ryan Reynolds begins, and it's a line that's blurred constantly. Deadpool signs a Wolverine cereal box with Reynolds' name, and later shoots Reynolds through the head as he considers even thinking about appearing in Green Lantern. But despite all of the movie's leaps from different realities and tasteless jokes, one throwaway line has more heart than the whole film combined. When Wade Wilson considers the name Connor for his kid, it's not meaningless. Prior to the original Deadpool coming out, Ryan Reynolds enjoyed a special screening of the film with a Make-A-Wish kid named Connor McGrath. While Connor passed in 2016, Reynolds made sure that his love of Deadpool and his legacy lived on in Deadpool 2, in the most heartwarming and heartbreaking way possible. Costume Connection While Deadpool is mostly known for his red and black duds, he's fought crime in a wide variety of colors. While seeking membership in the X-Men during Deadpool issue 16, he actually makes his own X-Men uniform with a giant, obvious X on the front. Whoever designed the X-Men's trainee uniforms in Deadpool 2 had pretty much the same idea. Deadpool, during his darker X-Force days, has also been seen sporting a black and grey version of his familiar costume. His charred costume near the end of the movie is a dead ringer for his X-Force comics counterpart. It's no coincidence, this is when the real X-Force finally comes together. Sorry Shatterstar, you suck. Oh Canada because you just can't have Ryan Reynolds in the room without making a few jokes about his home and native land up north, Deadpool 2 has a few quips about America's friendly hat, Canada. Much more subtle, however, is a reference in name only to Canada's number one crime-fighting team. The never mentioned Alpha Flight. In this case, Alpha Flight is little more than the name of an airline or travel agency posted as a taxi ad, but the sentiment is there. And it's covered in maple syrup and hockey. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.